and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and it's logbook time. Um, I have bits all over the place because I have needed to do just a little bit of prep ready for logbook. Um, so, so far we have, I have now have my square all noted down, any that aren't completed, I have the sheets ready. There's not many that I have in the smaller square. In my large square, I also have all my logbook book inserts ready for those. So it's now time to move on to my smaller round, of which as you can see here, I have quite a few. So I've pulled them all off so that I can get things like delivery information um, and all that sort of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out my sheet that says round, I'm gonna pop my bookmark in because that's where it goes because that's the end of square. So that means I can keep track a little bit because I have got a couple here that have already been done. So in fact, maybe let's take those out as well and let's go in order of this. Make sure that everything is updated. It's got, you know, one of its images there, etc., etc. So Daisy has already been done. Latte is the next one, so let's find it. Some things, as say, have been marked off, so this is it. Latte, 30 by 40 by Dear Get, I've popped all that information in. It's a double-sided tape and it is a full drill. And you can tell it's a double-sided tape because it does have an opaque cover. Number of colours. So we have 35 different colours, it is a round, it does have DMC, it's not got AB or rhinestone. So the total drills is the one thing I wanted to check because, so I have worked it out on that one but not on this one. I think I know the sum that I need to do, but I wanted to check. And of course, I've not brought my phone in, which has my calculator on. Right, where's the one I have done? So that is the Christmas one. Is that near the bottom? Yeah, it is. Home sweet home. Now, did I just, I don't think I just did it as I need to write these down, I really do. Let me grab my tape measure. So the actual canvas size for this one is just short of 25. So 25 by 35, and I think per centimetre on round, yes. So per centimetre it is four diamonds, and I can use my little tape measure to sort of measure that to give me the rough idea. And I think it's six for square. Let me just have another look. Oh no, it's, oh, it's bob on inside four for square. Whereas it's more like three and a half around. Yeah per centimetre. Oh, hang on though, we're talking per centimetre. No. Ugh, my brain. Okay, let me get my phone so I've got my calculator and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back. I searched my comments on YouTube because I knew it was Margaret that had told me the sums or the calculation to do. So, I searched through the comments on Facebook and I found it. So I've written it down on a piece of note paper that's gonna go in the back of my logbook. Um, calculating how many diamonds. So for square, it's width times length times 16. And for round, it's width times length times 14. 
So we have the calculation. I've grabbed my phone. It's low on battery, but I've grabbed my phone so that um, I can do the calculations because the idea is that this gets filled in. So this is a 30 by 40, but let's check, check it is a true 30 by 40. So it is, it's a little bit short of 40 centimetres and it is 30 centimetres. I'm not going to go to the point of doing, you know, half a centimetre. I could, the calculation's easy enough to do, but I'm just, it's, I'm just not going there. So 30 times 40 times 14. So 16,800. I've got in my head six and four rather than 16 and 14. So canvas is filled in, drills is filled in, purchase details is filled in. I'm not going to rate the canvas or the drills. I will, I mean, I never had an issue with the customer service. Um, and it was a promotional item as well. So I'm going to stick with that. I need the image, which is that one. I love you a latte. And then in my bag that I keep all my diamond painting stuff in. Let me move that. Ugh. I was going to try and hang it back up, but it wasn't working. I have a washi tape that I'm using at the moment. And I'll change this up when this one runs out. But it's handy to keep one close. And I stick the photo on the same page as all the details. Because I don't stick it to, in effect, the opposite side. So if they were there, this photo would go here. I don't do that until I have started the painting or I've done the painting. And the reason I don't do that is because every now and then I do have a revamp of my stash and I may choose to pass this one on or to not do it. And in which case I will just remove the logbook page. The only reason I am creating them beforehand is the things like the purchase details. Purchase details, finding the photo because I have had a couple that I've had to take a photograph of because I can't get the original picture off the site anymore because they don't sell the painting anymore. So I want to be getting those sorts of things at the beginning um, and having those ready so that then I can just fill in the rest. So latte is done, Sleeping Fox is next. Let me move that hanger that could do more damage. Sleeping Fox. Here he is. I did a tip and trick on this one. So I do currently have uh, the sticker sheets ready for this one and it, it, it's got masking tape all over it but believe me this is Sleeping Fox. So I've already got poured glue, full drill, number of colours 19. It is a round because we're doing round. It does have DMC. And then I've already put that it's from FG Normal and the quality time and final thoughts is for later. So I want to check the size of this one. So this one is actually 25. So 25 by times by 35 and then times by 14, because it's round, it's 12,250, which is exactly what I got for the Home Sweet Home one, which is very much like this, a poured glue where it's smaller. So that's Sleeping Fox. In fact, let's put they're the done ones because then I can try and lie them up flat so I can put them back on the hanger. And the other ones are on the floor at my feet. So Sleeping Fox is that one. And I like to change up where I put the picture 
on my logbook page and that is so that I can so that you know the logbook doesn't get too heavy on one side of the page compared to another if I put all the photos at the top I've got all that extra thickness at the top so sleeping fox is done then we have mama and baby fox which should be this next one I think I wrote out the purchase details in this order yes mama and baby fox I'm just going to find it. No, it's it. There it is. Mama and Baby Fox. So it's down as a 30 by 40, which is why I do put 30 by 40 at the top, even though it's smaller. It's a poured glue. It's full drill. Number of colours is 16. It's a round and it does have DMC. And if this one is 25 by 35, then I can use the same cat. Oh, this is 24 by 34, just to confuse. So 24 by 34 by 14 is 11,760. Trust you to confuse me. Okay, so you can go up there. That's all done. So now I need the picture. And these are not in order because it depended on how I managed to find them. So I'm gonna to go to the right. As long as I can still see the title, I'm happy with the picture being in different places on the logbook. And I'm using washi tape because that will peel off the paper like that without causing any problems. So, Mama and Baby Fox, done. Beauty in Simplicity. That's my next, Ooh. And that one is here. I've obviously done another tips and tricks using this one, but it's down as a 30 by 40. It's a poured glue, it's a full drill, and it took me a while to find this image and this listing because I had this down as a partial drill. It's what it was advertised as, but it came as a full drill. It's got 20 colours, it's round. Now, there are no DMC numbers on the canvas, so let me find the diamonds for it might just take me a moment oh there it is beauty and simplicity do we have DMC numbers on the packet no we don't I kind of thought we might do and kind of hoped we might do but we don't we just have the number that it is on here so 14 and then the code for the pattern for the canvas, the code that's at the top. So we don't have DMC numbers for that one. Let's just throw a little curve ball in there. So that's a no. And what's the size of the canvas? So it is 25 by 35, which makes it the same size as this one. So the drills will be 12,250. Just to save me doing maths every time. The photo I managed to find. So let's go bottom right. Bottom right for the photo to sit. I have got a couple of photos for ones that I have finished up recently as well. But I need to make sure after the Christmas madness are filled in. So, beauty and simplicity. Done. What's next? Swan and deer, part two. So, there's that. Here is the swan. There's the picture. Now, this, this one actually is a double. 
so it's down as a 60 by 40 is how it comes because I've actually already done half of it I've done the deer painting so it's a poured glue it's a full drill number of colors is 16 it's around there is no DMC numbers on the canvas but there was on the diamonds because this is me kitting it up so I've kit up this painting because it came as the same for both but I've done them as two separate paintings so the diamonds are here all kitted up when I'm ready to do this one I've even got a little bag with some extras and to show you these ones actually came with the DMC number on them even though it's not on here so I can put yes to having a DMC number and it's nice to know I do still have the diamonds safe I can lay my hands on those diamonds so what's the size of just this canvas because I'm only documenting this one so this one is 24 by 34 which is actually the same as this one isn't it mama and baby fox that was the smaller so that is 11,760 just to save me calculating again so round done got the details which of course are dearer in there delivery note so what I'm going to put in here um, canvas was a two pack Uh, but I have split, split into individual. Okay, so I've at least noted down that they did come as a two pack, but I've chosen to split them. Which is something that I remember, but you never know what can happen in the future. Depends how long it takes for me to actually get round to doing it. So swan and deer is done. What's next? Purple tiger. This is one it took me. In fact, I had to take a picture of the actual um, canvas. I could not find the original. In fact, they're not still selling the original on the website. So it's a 30 by 40, it's a poured glue, it's a full drill, it's round, it does have DMC, it has 23 colours, and what size are you? Nearly 25 by 35, so that is 12,250. I actually only got this in February last year, um, but it's no longer available. Not on that site anyway. It may be available somewhere else. So where is my very bad picture? See, that does not look purple anymore. But at least it is, it is the picture. At least it still looks like a tiger. The little sprocket printer, the HP sprocket printer that I use, might be really, really sweet. But the colours it prints in are shocking. <laughs> Never prints true to colour. But this is more of a record than anything else, isn't it? Quite often, I take the original photo and I print it out for putting it in my logbook. I've still got the original photo. Okay, next one, a raccoon in flowers. So this painting was actually gifted to me by a subscriber. So I have also had to take a picture of this one. So it's a 30 by 40 as sort of the advertised size. It's a poured glue, it's a full drill. It has 20 colors. It's round, because we're doing round. I don't know if it's DMC. It's not DMC on the canvas, 
So is it DMT on the diamonds? Raccoon in flowers. Nope. So this is very similar to the other one that was not DMC. It does not have DMC numbers on those packets. So that one is a no for DMC. So watch the size. 25 by 35. So 12,250. Raccoon. You are done. No, you're not. You need a picture. I was, I was thinking, I was getting ahead of myself. At least the picture for the raccoon looks a little bit more purple. Still not quite as purple as the raccoon does, though. Hey ho. And then all I've got left to do once I've done this is my large rounds. And my logbook should be finished. Okay, Raccoonie Flowers. Home is where you poop is one that I've completed, so that's not here. And then we're on Tortoise. Tortoise is a small one. So we're on to smaller 30 by 30s. So 30 by 30, poured glue, full drill. Number of colours, 20. It's a round because we're doing the rounds. It does have DMC numbers, and this one was purchased from Fancells. It's so much easier because I have these labels that actually have the shop on as well. So much easier for me to attempt to find the links. Okay, number of diamonds. So we're on a 30 by 30, can't pinch any sizes now. So 25 by 25. So calculator. 25 by 25 by 14. 8,750. I'm sure I'll be using that size again um, on one of the future ones. I'm quite looking forward to doing him. He certainly looks a bright, fun tortoise. Okay, I did get an image of him, I'm sure. Yeah, there he is. It's a little bit small in the picture. I probably will cut round it and things like that when I actually get round to doing him and, and pop the pictures in the book, but I might not. I might choose not to cut the white background off. So I'm going to take the whole thing on because the choice can be made when I do the final stick down. This is a way you get to see which round ones. I've got a lot more round in my stash than I have other. So pear, another bright one is next. In fact, let's just keep these on top of each other because these are what I think the last ones that I need. So pear, 30 by 30. It's a poured glue, it's a full drill. Number of colours is 17. It's a round and I do have DMC for this one. And then the purchase details are filled in already. Lost the end. So 25 it is by 25. So that makes it 8,750 diamonds. And then I need this now. My printer did its nice little hiccup and actually printed out two for me for this one. And I don't think I will use both, but I would much rather have both available in case I decide to do some weird collage on the opposing page on here when I complete it. Um, I would much rather have both of them there than print out another one. I probably will not use it, but it's there in case I do, because the printer printed it anyway, so why not? So that's pear. Then we have, next is coffee. So that's this one. This one was from Coo Deals. So this is also a 30 by 30. 
it's a poured glue, it's a full drill, it has 20 colours, it is round, it does come with DMC numbers, and what's the actual size of this one? Are we the same size or not? Nope, we're 25 by 25, bob on for that one. So that's 8,750. Again, this is one that is a little bit of a shorter image and it can potentially be cropped if I can make that decision later. But for now, I need to stick it in. Okay, so that's that one. Then we have Meadow. This is one of the ones that I've added to my stash more recently. Um, so I'd already started my logbook by then, which means I did put some information in. I didn't do the calculation for number of drills though. So let me just check it's the same size. So yeah, just short of 25 by just short of 25. So we've got 8,750. I've got that it's round and square. I've got where it was purchased from and I've got the cost. So that's Meadow. And then last, but by no means least, we have a recent one, Home Sweet Home, that's like a Christmas winter theme. And this one is the most recent one that I've got. So this one, I do even have the amount of drills, the numbers of colours, everything is detailed on there. So all I need to do with this one is put it a little bit lower down because I like to stack my diamond paintings by size. And then <clears throat> I grab my hanger. Clip all those together. I need to move the cry cut mat. The cry cut mat is just propped up on the wall where my diamond paintings hang, but it has to go in the front, otherwise it just gets crushed and falls off. So I've still got a few more bits to do, but all my round that I haven't yet completed are now done. So thanks to my bookmark, I know where I need to go. I'm gonna keep my hand here. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my bookmark to here because that's where I'm up to. So they're the diamond paintings I need to get ready next. I'm gonna pop in the round because I need to make sure that I get the images and stuff prepped for this one, a bit like I have just done. So I'm gonna get that all prepped. But I have two, four, six, eight left to sort of go through and do. And I think my logbook will be finished. Um, though what I might do for the next one is do this and then do any that I've had come in since and we'll do a logbook update. Um, and I might even, depending on how people like it, is I might try and do sort of a logbook update once a month. You know where maybe I keep any paintings that come in throughout the month that I'm, I'm keeping and at, at the beginning of the month we do a full update of my logbook and make sure that everything's nice and tidy. So do be sure to let me know in the comments down below if like a, you know, a monthly logbook organisation would be a good thing. Maybe the video would help prop you, prompt you guys to check your logbooks all up to date and things like that. So we'll do that one next. Special, I don't think I'm doing a logbook page for each of those. I kind of feel like they're more a one-off. What I might do for that one, for the specials, 
is I might still put when I've completed them, but I might put like a notebook page behind and still do some pictures of what they are and, and title the pictures but I'm not sure if I want to do a full logbook page for them because they tend to be one that I do in one evening. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. All my spares are noted down. I am gonna have a little bit of a mess about with my ABs as part of my spare storage. But what I did wanna do, I still need to decide what pictures go in there. I think I might do the minions. I think that's the only one now that is still an ongoing project that I haven't yet finished. So what I might do is let's put, because I still have the sticker out of the minions, I'll need to find some of this information, but I should be able to find it in my emails and hopefully my YouTube will tell me when I started on the minions. So I might make that, that logbook entry. And then of course we have um, the winter tree and all the rest. We've been through all of those and I've updated all of the custom comparisons. They've all got pictures in. AB mystery was completed. Home is where you poop was completed. Okay, Mr. Charlie Quackers. So I have popped in the date, the dates of purchase. I've completed my ratings. I've put when he was started and when he was finished. But what I hadn't done is stuck this picture in properly because I did want to also get one with him up on the wall. And the picture and the lighting has turned out so bad on this one. But that's what happens. So am I, is it best to do two like that? Oh, I like that actually, I think. Keep one straight, but then keep one the other way. I don't think I necessarily have, I might do a little bit of writing about him. And the great thing is about this sprocket is their stickers. So I can be incredibly lazy. I have taken some off before, off the paper, and it didn't damage the paper, it just curled it ever so slightly with the action of pulling the sticker off. Um, but I have been able to move things about ever so slightly. There we go. So, um, it was a delight. Delight to work on this painting. Um, purchased as a birthday treat for me, because I actually bought this on my birthday. So purchased as a birthday treat from me. To me, um, Mr. Charlie Quackers. It's the only thing when you're writing as well, isn't it? You speak a lot slower. Mr. Charlie Quackers, as named by me. Has brought many enjoyable enjoyable hours of diamond painting okay so i'm going to leave that there for that for now final thoughts i'm giving him a five I was really happy. I mean, the drill quality, canvas quality, customer service has all got a five down there. So I can't see how we could get any less. He has been kept 
Um, there was some I wanted to pop in final. Th oh, that was it. So um, the drill quality was amazing. And made working with bags and bags of 3865 a dream because we all know sometimes you get that big bag of diamonds and if they're bad diamonds it's just awful and you know what I've realized I have not put in here and I've just realized as I'm doing it I've not put in here yet um, Zesty Wolf so Zesty Wolf's going here, not Minions. So, Zesty Wolf. I will need to print out some pictures for him. But Zesty Wolf, he's a 30 by 40. He was a poured glue, full drill. Drill quality was amazing. Uh, number of colours. Oh, see, now my brain's gone. There we go, 21. 21 colours. He was around. He had DMC. The drill quality was amazing. Total drills. So he is a true 30 by 40. And that's not my calculator. Try and press the right button. So 30 by 40 by 14. 16,800 drills we placed for Advent. Purchase from, so I'm going to put Add More Zest, which I know is me. More Zest, ooh, with Diamond, can I fit it in? Diamond Art Studio. UK because we worked with them so date ordered and received doesn't really matter a cost and stuff doesn't really matter uh, do I give myself five star quality maybe maybe I'm always good to myself or I try to be okay date started now I know I did start it a day earlier yeah I'm still gonna need to put that on I so 30th of November 21 date finished 23rd of December 21 because I worked on the advent one day before it was being done um time spent 24 days because I'm not putting hours I'm not counting that bad boy down enjoyment was definitely a five Final thought is a five. Is it kept? Heck yes, it's kept. <laughs> that one is mine. <coughs> um, I need to do some pictures. I haven't got. I'll have to do. I'll have to do the pictures next time. I think. So maybe that's what I'll do. We'll we'll add Zesty Wolf in next time as a final. Do I have? Min oh, I do have minions completed on my little large sheet. So we'll pop that in there and we'll add minions in next time when it's due to be added in. I'll get some pictures for Zesty Wolf so that I can fill in this section with some pictures for next time. But I've got most of the details down. And then if I go to the back to back, Grinch Christmas is finished. So I have some pictures here. There is also succulent bowl as well. Um, I have finished that, but I haven't de-kitted that. So I'm going to try and fill that in when I de-kit. So Grinch, I have the tiny, the tiny bit off the canvas, which I've just stuck down with some removable glue. I got a picture off the website, but it actually came through twice. My little printer had that hiccup that I said it had had before and it came through twice. 
and then I took a picture or tried to take a picture of it in its frame and all it's done is caught most of the conservatory roof and the light coming through but I figured let's put that in anyway. So what I'm thinking is can I make a little ensemble with all of these and it look good or do I just not use as many? It's a bit of an overkill, isn't it? But I kind of feel like, well, you know what? They've been printed, so why not? Kind of feel like that can do a bit of a... a bit of an overlap because they are exactly the same. It did actually print one as well that looked absolutely awful. It had lines through it, but I didn't bring that one in. That one went straight into the bin. I might do it like that though. I might do it like that so it overlaps a little bit and then we have that one separate. Because then I feel as though I've not wasted the pictures of mu as much if I do it that way. I did fill in some of the information on this one when I de-kitted it because this was the first one I finished over Christmas. So this one I did de-kit on Tuesday. And because I de-kit it on Tuesday, I did put details down. So I put um, about the drills popping, etc. I don't think I want to say any more about it. I don't think I want to you know, go into more detail in relation to how bad some of it was. So I'm going to leave that notebook page blank for now. I, I don't think I've commented on all of them, or have I commented on all of them? Oh, Zesty Wolf, I've not done yet. Uh, I have commented on all of them, so maybe I need to have a think and actually write down a little bit more. I wrote down a bit here. Um, maybe I should have just written it over here first. I'll have a think if there's any more that I want to do when I prep um, for the last and possibly final logbook session, or at least the final one of getting my logbook all set up and nice. Put that one a bit further over more in the middle. That's different, isn't it? Why not? It's a little bit different. So we've we've got multiple Grinch Christmas um, photos in there. I've got succulent, which has been finished. I will need to take a final photo. And then I'm going to pop here in the back to calculate how many diamonds. Make sure my little piece of paper is in there. This does have the bigger rings on now. If you spotted the tips and tricks on Monday. So Monday just gone, I did a tips and tricks on to change over these um, because I was asked to. And it's probably a good job because I've definitely just bumped this out quite a bit more. I've still got my small ones in case I do decide to split this into two books. So I'm going to keep those in my pouch with everything else. Um, we have been asked as well about more bookmarks. So somebody did, was it Jackie? Jackie did get clear Dymo label. So similar to my white, but of course she used clear. And she's actually done little, little labels for the top so that she's got tabs as to what section is what. I very much like that idea, um, but we have been asked for more bookmarks. It has been on our list to offer the bookmarks separate. Um, so we're gonna try and do that as soon as we can, because we do wanna bring some variety to those. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with myself and how my logbook is coming along. I do still have some of my canvas stickers and completed stickers. They all stay in my little pouch. I try and keep all the stuff together. And then I've got my rings and um, my washi tape. 
and then that just hangs up on it actually hangs up on my wall behind my desk so that it's there to remind me when I de-kit photos etc that all kit up de-kit all kit up um that I need to be adding them to my logbook so yeah that is I can't even remember what number logbook section I think we're on number seven but hopefully next time number eight will be just the finalization of my large round paintings that I currently have um checking that anything else is finished off and up to date and then I may have some more paintings that I need to add but let me know in the comments below if you'd sort of like a monthly you know, update our logbook session. And I'm more than happy to save all the paintings that I've added to my stash um, and, and do it, you know, on one day a month so that you guys, you know, can get a recap because I may well have done an unboxing, but you can get a recap and know what it is that I'm adding to my stash. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. But thank you for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.